What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, ordered this uh, leg massager. I've had a leg massager like this before, but I ordered this one because uh, this one is called a 3D massage. Um, basically, it does calf and foot. So uh, it also has heat and vibration, which wasn't a big seller for me, but it's there. Um, so you probably have seen foot massagers like this, but I was curious what this one is like, given that the other one I had was just for uh, calves. Now, a couple things I'll quick throw out here. This box is pretty big. This is what it comes in and it actually comes in another box. So it's about two feet uh, in every dimension. So, um, you know, keep in mind that it's pretty big. So if you're having this thing delivered to your office and you're going to drive it home, um, that's going to be kind of a lot of bulk. I had it delivered to the house and uh, fortunately I was here so I didn't have to carry it around. And it's also relatively heavy. It's not super heavy, but it's just big and awkward. So let's uh, take a look at what this thing does. All right, so here's the my foot massager. I've already set it up here. Uh, a couple things I want to show you right off the bat is it comes with a power cord, which you'd expect. It's only about five feet long, so keep that in mind. But one of the things I want to show you is it plugs into the back right there, and then there's a power button. So my issue with this is it's not a big deal, but I have it set up on a couch here to show you. And luckily there's a little bit of a gap there, so it's not crimping that power cord. Uh, you might want to use a regular chair with it uh, to sit more vertically to get into the foot massager a little bit better. But if you have a couch or something like this that's a filled in lower section here, you might have a problem with this power cord. Don't forget to turn on that button then too. It wants, it'll be lit up like that when it's on. The other thing here that's not important, but for whatever reason, this foot massager and leg massager tends to be... a uh, a manufactured product that's rebranded by a couple different companies. So what I've noticed is that they all have this dolphin uh, molded into the side plastic there. I'm not sure what that's about, but it's kind of a sign that you're getting this the one that I'm showing you here. The other thing that I will show you is that uh, it comes in a couple different paint colors. This one is red. I didn't really have much of a choice on that. I just kind of looked for it online and found it. So you may be familiar with the the calf massaging piece right here, but what I thought was interesting is the housing uh, totally covers your foot and your feet get massaged too, which is actually kind of a big miss on other foot massagers. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So first things first, you just put your legs in here and then you sink your feet all the way underneath into the bottom. You'll feel some rollers on the bottom portion of the massager. You just set your feet on there. Now my feet are about size 10, sexy legs. I'm going to mention those in a second. Um, and I have no problem getting them in. There's, there's, I can push my heels all the way back and move my toes up forward. I don't know how big of a foot size these will accommodate though. So uh, just use my foot as a reference. The other thing I would say is that everything is kind of narrow, okay? So your foot is, uh, my foot already is hugged by the massaging rollers and my calves certainly are. Now, uh, like I said, I was gonna mention my, my legs. I have these big my, my calves, for whatever reason, God replaced them with uh, Virginia hams. So I have big calves to begin with. And what I've noticed is that the, the kneading on the calves can kind of hurt because they're kind of compressed. Now, if you have Justin Bieber sized legs, it's probably going to be perfect. But if you have uh, man sized uh, giant calves, um, the, the massaging on the calves actually might be painful because they're compressing those rollers are... are are meant for a narrower leg. Um, same thing might be said on the foot, but you know, my size 10s, I have no problem with it. They, they're they certainly comfortable. Now, let me try to get this sucker um, working here for you. There are four buttons here, the power button on the top, then you have um, the, the foot, which says foot there on the green, um, and then three speeds for it, foot massaging, slow, medium, fast. And you have the leg, which is calf massaging, slow, medium, fast. And then down here you have the vibration and heating se se section or uh, control. So you can turn on heating, vibration, or heating and vibration. So let's go ahead and just start the foot massaging. And might be a little tough to see there, but um, I can feel the rollers. There's, there's some kind of churning motion rolling rollers along the bottom of my feet like this. And then also you can see kind of right on the side here, there are some rollers on both sides that are kind of compressing the foot. It feels like this, that the rollers are kind of going in and out. Uh, there's nothing really on top, but those side rollers are actually a little higher. So they're kind of 
connecting with your foot uh, kind of above in the top half of the foot, all right? So um, you're kind of getting a little top massage on uh, kind of that upper edge, but they're not really overlapping and rolling onto the foot itself. That is really, you know, that is a huge win of this. Uh, for a foot massager that costs you a couple hundred bucks or, or more um, that I had, which was just a leg massager, this one has both of those capabilities and this foot massage piece is kind of the most important to me because um, that's really where you feel the, the pain of walking around or running all day is uh, kind of worn out feet. So um, just on that alone, I think this is worth it. Now, you can turn on the calf massager right here. And what I'm going to do is, uh, for me, what I do is I kind of have to move a little forward so that the calf massaging, so my calves aren't set all the way back in the massager because it can be a little painful. Um, like I said, these big bulbous legs um, kind of look like giant turkey legs for whatever reason um, can be a little large for this. So keep that in mind. Now, if you have thinner legs, like my woman does, she has no problem sitting all the way back in them. Um, you know, it's not like I'm screaming in pain or anything like that. And, you know, after the first couple rolls, even if I move back a little, it starts to feel pretty good. So, I don't know, you know, maybe massage is supposed to be painful. All right, and then the last thing is the heating and vibration. Now, so if I turn on the heat, one of the things I want to show you, and it might be a little hard here, is that you can see there's some light bulbs underneath the plastic housing and when the heat is on those lights come on you can see them kind of go on and off there all right and then if you hit vibrate the whole thing just kind of has a a low frequency dull vibrating um, now you turn them all on and now you've got the whole symphony of leg and foot massagers um, this is obviously this would be perfect for someone who has the exact right size leg and foot, and I would say smaller and skinnier is better, but uh, you know what? It still feels good on me too. Anyway, hope that's helpful. Check it out. Uh, the foot and leg massager with the 3D effect. Peter Von Panda, out.